Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and we start with some sad news in Germany today. But first, we will look into the expansion of Tesla and numbers from China. So in the luxury segment, the Model Y is leading by a lot. But what my question is, why is the Tesla Model 3 in the luxury segment here? Um, it is for myself, uh, there is no reason to put it in a luxury segment. But please let me know what your de definition of luxury is. Um, furthermore, um, I must honestly admit the numbers showing a decrease of the Model 3. My suggestion is that Tesla is currently concentrating on delivering Model 3s to export countries, so Europe, Australia and other countries. So that might be the reason why there is a decrease of Model 3 sales compared to last year in November. So that is just my estimation why that is happening. There could be as well a different reason the Model Y standard range, a version of the Model Y not available in Europe, the United States or anywhere else is selling very well in China. And that could be a reason why the Model 3 is not selling that much anymore because last year the Model Y standard range was not available and that could be a sign why people are choosing the Model Y over the Model 3. Just let me know what you think because that could be a major um, differentiator if in the future the Model Y standard range comes to the United States or Europe. Um, for me personally, I do know a lot of people wanting this car, but let's see how this goes in the future. Then we are looking at Troy Tesla, -like, who is providing us with some estimates until when we could see an announcement of a new factory um, based on an opening in 2024. The question will be, is it just one factory, two factories, maybe three factories? Some are speculating it could be even more to really get into the numbers that we want to see by the end of this decade. But one factory will happen next year for sure. That is my feeling. And the big question will be where it's going to be located. And the United States, definitely, it's not going to be here in the US because you have Austin now starting to produce cars. But what I think is that it will be in Great Britain and a second factory could be in India as we do see Tesla really trying to test the market over there. So that could be two destinations we see a next factory. But for Great Britain, we know now that Tesla was actually considering Great Britain. But when they were exiting from the European Union, there was so much uncertainty that they didn't go along with the move to go with a factory in Great Britain. Right now, it would make a lot of sense. Everything is settled and the EV market in the Great Britain is very good. So that could be a reason second factory in European continent outside of the European Union. And I will go into some law issues in Grünheide why we will see uh, certainly some delays of a few weeks. Um, but I will start with that in a minute because unfortunately I have to admit that Austin might start earlier with the production. Um, in some cases, you do see that Austin is doing very, very good. Uh, but when we are looking at the Grünheide factory, there are some small things I want to share with you why we see some delays here. And of course, I want to also really please you. There is no way Tesla is going to move out of Germany, but I tell you right now. So we have Alex Vogt here, the minister Vogel, who is in, not in charge of the economy, but in charge of the um, environment, says on Saturday that Tesla has not yet submitted all the requested documents to the authorities and therefore no legal construction permit has been given yet. Those documents are required. Those are not documents they are coming up with. That is very important. The main reason why Tesla can't start production before the environmental impact assessment is finished due to European Union laws. So it would be the same in Poland, but in Berlin, a year worth of paperwork was actually already done for the property. That is what Tobias Lind is sharing with us. So for all those likely bashing under my video, and sorry guys, I must honestly admit, 
I'm telling you here the truth and the facts. The fact is, it is European law. It has nothing, nothing to do with the country of Germany or somehow, somehow um, telling me that Germany is left behind. In this case, we are talking about European law. So for anybody, even if you're saying they should move to Poland or Czech Republic or wherever you want to be, have them, it is the same freaking law. So it makes no difference just to clarify that. Another fact, those documents needed that were fixed uh, mandatory documents that is nothing that was made up that is nothing that was just coming out of nowhere f few days ago I knew those doc documents are needed I didn't report about that two weeks ago because I assumed well Tesla is just going to do their work and is submitting those documents so what is happening right now is that we will see that Tesla is going to submit as soon as possible those documents everything else is pretty much done guys there was no negative comments from Mr. Fogel about any of the um, things that were happening in the hearings. There's nothing. So it's nothing to worry about. It is just the last documents we have to take care of. Just by the way, as we are in Europe shortly, the uh, Norway market here, by the way, is going into um, a direction where we see the first country actually decreasing the um, gas cars in the current fleet because they have more electric cars coming to the market and it's purely electric cars very soon so they're going to decrease the um, current fleet and that is one of the first countries to do so. Additionally to the information I just gave you about Grün Heide guys I want to please you to stay calm I want to um, please you to not be frustrated about the country itself, Germany, because I want to give you a very, very important example for those do that do not know what's happening in Germany. VW, the one that is lobbying as war well against Tesla in some cases, is planning a new factory and it's for the Trinity program and it's going to be nearby Wolfsburg, near the main factory. But listen to me, they are planning to open this factory by 2024. That is a new factory. And from now on, almost more than three years, they are planning for this factory. And we are currently in Germany taking a fast track for Tesla. So you have to put everything in perspective. Yes, you might not like the speed, but this is how it works in the European Union. And this is not Germany. And in the European Union, there are also countries like Czech Republic and there are also Poland. So if Poland decides to build a factory and doesn't care about European laws, well, then, that they, then it's their issue. Um, the same for Czech Republic, if you think they are going to um, speed up the process. So thank you very much for listening to me um, being here today. And I wish you all a wonderful day. Take care, guys.